He was talkative too much in the spirit. So you if at any moment, and he went to pray, and he went to pray, and he went. In that prayer, he created a lalos experience. He was so talkative. Did you hear that? So be careful with what you say. Tell the neighbor, if you have a neighbor, tell the neighbor, be careful with what you say. Your words are windows through which God can come through or the devil can come through. Never make statements like, it's not working. I will die. Hey. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says, wait. I speak. And if you check from the Greek word there, the word, the word the words there is the word remata. Remata. Faith does not consider. The moment you begin to consider your situation, the moment you begin to consider what you are passing through, it's no longer faith. The moment you consider, what about how my husband is behaving? My salary, look at my salary, is too small. How can I be great? If God says you are a millionaire, it goes beyond your salary. Am I talking to somebody right here? It is beyond your salary. How can your salary make you a millionaire? God knows he has got so many ways. He has one million ways to make his way come to pass. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Do you hear that? Do you Do not consider anything. Say, speak. Keep on speaking. Keep on speaking. Keep on talking. Keep on talking. Say, lalos. Say, talkative. So you go in your room, you close the door, and you begin talkative. In the name of Jesus. No matter what I'm passing through. In the name of Jesus. Every enemy planning my downfall, I will not fall. In the name of Jesus. I declare I'm not the tail. I am the head. In the name of Jesus. Greater is he who is inside of me than he who is in the world. In the name of Jesus, I overcome every power, every prosperity, every demonic attack. I overcome it. In the name of Jesus, I am victor. Oh, As you speak, Rameta, as you speak, the world becomes a spirit, a whirlwind. Begins to move in the spirit. Can you imagine that? And that wind has got life. Everything it meets along its way, it brings it to life. Everything it the wind meets along its way, it makes it live again. Your business, your marriage, your relationship, whatever you speak, your bones, your blood, everything lives again. Come on, somebody say, I hear you, prophet. I hear you, prophet. Say, no ma. Say the wind of God. Oh, hallelujah. For the wind of God to be there, you have to say it. So you speak the words, becomes the wind. When I say, be healed, what happens at that moment? The ways I have spoken becomes what? The wind. That's how we heal people. Demons don't come out without the spirit, never. And that spirit must have life. The words we speak are spirit and are life. In Matthew 8, verse 8, the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word, and my servant will be healed. So when Jesus said a word, what happened? A wind was made in the spirit. Do you hear me? There was what? A spiritual wind. It went and hunted the servant wherever the servant was. The devil waited for you and hit you to see what you comment. That's why the devil challenged God. He said, when I touch Job, I want you to see what he will say. All what the devil was looking for was the saying of Job. Do you hear that? The sayings of Job. That's when Job chapter 6 from verse 24, 25, 26, he said, I remain quiet so I could not make a statement 
that will contradict against me. So if God said that you are a great woman of God, the enemy will bring so many problems so that you should make a statement that will contradict what God said. Say, not me. Say, Father, forgive me if I made any statement contradicting what you said about me. I am what you said I am. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So the enemy will bring so many problems. So you should make statements. We're not going to make any statement. We want. Before Jesus rose from the dead, he made sure that he, ra he, he raised statements. He made statements. And the statements that Jesus made, he made sure before he died, he made statements which must resurrect him. Are you hearing me? He said, when I die, I shall resurrect again. And then he died. Those words... Ah, you. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? Make statements now. Don't wait for sickness to come. Declare that I'm healed. So when disease comes, even before you are sick, you are healed already. And you're believing a life of divine health and you won't even understand why. You are not being sick. It is because you already made what? Statements. Speak. I survive every accident before, before the accident. Make that statement like that. Declare that. You make that. Don't wait for the accident to come. Be talkative. And two demons must complain about you. And he says, she's too talkative, this woman. Say this words, Father. Father. You live in me. You, live in me. you are in me. I have you in me. Your spirit is in me. Father, from now, help me to be aware that every word I make, every statement I make, it is bound to come to pass. Whether it's positive, whether it's negative. So, oh Lord, Help me to keep my tongue. Now, tonight, I use my tongue to create a spiritual wind to deal with my situation. Clap your hands and begin to make a prayer. Make statements in the spirit. <laughs>